up and welcome I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the League of the Americas here where we will be getting into season number two and into the transfer window and all that craziness in just a minute but there are a couple of things that I forgot to take care of at the end of last episode that we need to address first and that is we have an issue with a few of our players. The first one is Abdu Aziz Thiam. He's on loan at the team right now, I think from Monaco, and it is time to either buy him outright or send him back to where he came. He's, I think his fee is $500,000. You can see his value is almost a million. I think it's good business to bring this player in, even if he isn't getting a lot of playing time. I think he's a good value and I think he's a player that we should be bringing in he has a lot of room to grow he's still 19 years old I'm gonna try to get him in this team on a permanent deal now the other issue that we have is that Tesho Akindele wants a new contract currently he's getting paid ten thousand dollars per week he wants a double in his salary up to twenty thousand dollars Tesho was a big important player for us last season coming off the bench either at striker or right mid for Barrios however He's 68 overall. He's not really going to grow much more than that. I don't think he's worth $20,000 a week. I've tried to offer him less than that. He won't take it. I don't think I want to resign him for $20,000. That is not good business. He's not worth that much money. I think either we're just going to let him stay on. If he wants to stay on for $10,000, we will let him. If he wants to leave, we will let him go. So now moving on to what we're going to be doing in this episode and the transfer window coming up. Um, I want to address that just quickly because I'm going to try to do something in this series, in this transfer window that I've never done before. And that is I'm only going to be going after players that have been suggested by you guys in the comments below. Whether it was last episode or all the way back at the beginning of the series, I've looked at all those names. I remember all those names that you suggested. And if I'm interested in them, I've put them in my transfer list or my short list. And I'm only going to be going after those players. So let's have a look at the list. So I mentioned that fullback was a position that we probably needed a little bit more depth in. Honestly, I don't think Zach Lloyd's going to be getting it done for us in that right back spot. So the two names that I saw suggested by you guys, Callum Patterson, who is a right back, and Jordan Lukaku, who is a left back. If we get Lukaku, we'd move Hollingshead over to the right side. No big deal. Hollingshead's a natural right back anyway. So either one of those players would be fantastic. Their physicals are off the charts. I don't know how much each one will cost. I think Lukaku's a little bit more expensive, but I'm going to scout both of them up and see how much both of them cost another spot I thought we might need a little bit more depth was center back and Omar Gonzalez was suggested but he's very very expensive he'd probably take up half our transfer budget I don't really want to do that um, the other one that was suggested more than once and I was very surprised was Johan Kapelhoff from Chicago now I have no experience with him I know of him I know how what he is and how good he is he's a little bit short for a center back in my opinion however you guys want to see him if he's worth the money for me i will try to get him into the team now i still have perry kitchen on this list as well and i know it's a player that you guys really want to see in the team given that he's an american and everything but we have a lot of center defensive mids i could only see me bringing in perry kitchen if we sell maybe uyoa and ortiz then maybe going and get perry kitchen i mean honestly both Gruezo and Acosta went down with injuries last season. It might not be a bad idea to have another starting quality center defensive mid in the team. But for right now, that's kind of on the back burner. We'll see how much money we have towards the end of the transfer window, then revisit Perry Kitchen. Moving on to the wide midfield, and that's a spot I think we need probably one. And if we lose Tesho Akindele, at least two players in there. So some names suggested by you guys, and they're names that I've had before. Jaboli Ariyibi and Joseph Claude Gayao, JCG. Both of them are fantastic players, both very, very fast as well. Wouldn't mind getting either one of them in. Both of them would fill the role nicely. Now, here's the problem with my idea of only getting players that have been suggested by you guys is that you didn't suggest any center attacking mids, not one. The only player that vaguely fits that spot is Giles Barnes, and it would be an interesting selection to bring him in. Um, he's not really a center attacking mid, more of an out and out attacker, more of a, a, a striker, but he could play in that spot, kind of a utility attacker, if we will, coming off the bench, maybe getting some time in the Champions League. Who knows? Maybe he'd be a great fit in this team, but if he doesn't work, I'm probably gonna have to fill that center attacking mid spot on my own. And moving on to the striker position, I would say it's between Bobby Wood or Jordan Morris as the striker you guys want to see. I'm happy with either one of them. Bobby Wood would come in and probably be the striker right away. Honestly, as good as Bradford Jameson was at times last season, he only scored 10 goals. 10 goals, that's not good enough for our starting striker. We need to get more production out of that. And Bradford Jameson is still only on loan at the team. We have him next season, then we have to make the decision on whether we want to keep him or not. 
it's a big year for Bradford Jameson. If we bring Bobby Wood in, James would be pushed to probably a reserve role, or maybe I'd rotate them. Who knows? If I bring Jordan Morris in, Morris would probably be the backup to Jameson. So we'll have to see if I can get Bobby Wood. That's the player I would want to get. But I also have Gabriel Jesus still on here. I don't think you guys really wanted to see him. That wasn't really suggested by you guys. So Gabriel Jesus is gone. And the last player on the list for now is Marlos Moreno. This guy was suggested way back at the beginning of the series, and I have had him on the list ever since. He would be a good fit in the wide midfield. We need depth there. He's going to be on the list. I'll have a look at him. All right, so we are now ready to head into season number two. I had left myself about a month at the end of season one to get all the scouting done for the players that I just showed you. And we do have all the final scouting reports back on those players now, and we are ready to get into the transfer window. A couple of minor things before we go in, though. We did win the manager of the year for our first season at Dallas. Not surprising considering we won the title and I don't think anyone really expected us to. I surely did not expect us to win the title in season one, but we did so anyway. And the other one is that Fabian Castillo did not win player of the year despite being level with this guy Lopez for top goal scorer in the league with 19 goals and had way more assists than anyone else with 12. Castillo still did not win player of the year. How is that possible? He was the best player on the best team, had the best individual season out of anyone else, doesn't win player of the year okay then whatever that's fifa let's move into season number two and hopefully add some more pieces around our star man fabian castillo so let's start season two with those fun little emails from the board of directors our domestic cup objective is to reach the round of 32 don't think that's going to be that hard our league objective is to finish mid table also shouldn't be that difficult i think they're greatly underestimating this team i did in the first season i won't be doing that again i fully expect another at least title contending season from this squad and our budget for this year which is probably the most important part right now 16.5 million dollars with 80k in the wage budget it's a little bit less than i was expecting but that's still pretty good considering we were working with about three and a half million last year so plenty of money to do things with let's get started so of course the first offer in for one of our players is for our star fabian castillo the offer is from everton for 14.5 million dollars doesn't matter how much it's for because no way no how not for any amount of money am i selling fabian castillo i've said it a million times best player i've used in fifa 16 i'm not selling him i want him at this club for the entirety of this series i'm never going to replace him if i don't have to so while we're working on some deals to bring players in, we are taking part in a preseason tournament, of course. I'm going to simulate the whole thing. I never play any of these games. Let the team play it out as best they can. We do have our new goalkeeper, Alisson, in there. And we're in. I mean, we're playing against teams in this tournament that I think we should beat all of them. I think we're the best team in this tournament. So hopefully we get more results like that. But Kellen Acosta picked up an injury. That's not what you want. All right, so the Kellen Acosta injury is not bad. It's like a bruised thigh, so he's going to miss like three days. So no big deal with him, but moving on to the first player that we are going to bring in to this team in this transfer window, it's going to be Callum Patterson from Hearts. And the reason I went with him instead of Lukaku is a couple of reasons. The first one is Lukaku's a left back. We have a good young left back in Blas Riveros that I want to develop into the starting left back. If I brought in Lukaku, he'd take that spot and Riveros would never play. So I decided to go with Callum Patterson instead and put him in the right back spot. And even you can see we've included Zach Lloyd in this deal. Out of respect to Zach Lloyd because if, I, if we kept him, he'd never play. I'd rather send him somewhere where he can get some playing time. So $1.9 million plus Zach Lloyd. Let's get Callum Patterson into the team. All right, next preseason game is up. And I've rotated the team a little bit. Remember, I'm still trying to sell Max Rudy. So I'm going to try to get him some playing time, get him in some good form. Castillo gets us started in a very nice fashion. We lost the game 2-1. Okay, that's not good. Last group stage game of the tournament now. We win this game. We go through to the knockout stages. Anything else, we could be in trouble. So hopefully we win this one. A 2-0 win again. Fabian Castillo gets both goals. My God, is he good. All right, so we're getting close to being able to sign a couple of new players. Just trying to work out the kinks in their contract. They don't seem to want to sign, but I'll get them done. Don't worry. For now, we're moving on to, I think, the semifinal of this tournament. We have Toronto. I haven't made any changes to the team from last game. They're playing well together, so I thought I'd leave them in there. Wow, we lost 2-0 to Toronto. That is very unfortunate, and we're out of the tournament. Well, I didn't really expect to lose that game to Toronto, but either way, we got some good money for that tournament. So, moving on from some bad news to some really, really good news in the form of Bobby 
freaking wood. He's coming to Dallas, baby. $4.1 million. A little bit more than I wanted to pay, but it's Bobby freaking wood. He's worth every penny, all right? We're going to get him in the team. He's probably going to be the starting striker, but I won't leave Jamison out completely. I will rotate Jamison in every once in a while. I still like him, but when you got Bobby freaking wood, you got to play Bobby freaking wood. So let's get him in the team and see how he fits in. And the next player signing for Dallas is going to be Ari Yibi. I was looking at both him and JCG. Unfortunately, Dortmund accepted another offer for Gael, and I didn't want to match. It was for almost a million dollars, and for me, Gael wasn't worth that much. So I went with Ari Yibi instead for two million. I feel like that's a good value for him. It's below what he's, uh, his value price is. So this is some good business. Let's get him in. Even if Akindele leaves now, I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable with where we're at for wide midfielders. All right, so we've come to the first match of the season. It's not a regular season game. Instead, it is going to be the Trophy Championship, which puts the league winner, Dallas, versus the first domestic cup of the season winner, Minero, against each other for this matchup. And it is a chance for a trophy, so I'd like to win it. Here is the lineup we're going to go with. We got our new guys in there. You can see Bobby Wood right there. Patterson's in there in the right back spot. Riveros is going to get a shot at left back. Hollings has been left out of this match. And Ryb is on the bench. So the rest of the lineup, normal starting 11. Let's see what we can do here. All right, here we go. Kick off in the first game of the season. Let's see what this new team has. Not a lot of changes in there, but some pretty important ones nonetheless. Oh, boy. Here comes Miniero again. They are on the attack early in this game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me buy Allison. Major save to start this game with. What a save. All right. We have a free kick. We haven't gotten much going forward. And honestly, Diaz hasn't been good on free kicks. I know he's good in real life, but, I mean, in this game, he just hasn't been good. Can he get us something here early on? That's a good free kick! Oh, Mauro Diaz! What a time to come good, buddy! It's about time. I think that's the first free kick we've scored in this series, and it came in season number two. That's how bad we've been on set pieces. I almost was going to go look for a new set piece taker. We've been that bad, but finally, Diaz makes one, and that's our first shot of the game. And it's the first goal of the game. Deserved or not, 1-0 Dallas. Oh, mistake for Miniero. It comes to Fabian Castillo. That's not who you want on the ball. If you're Miniero, oh, Castillo could have made him pay. Just missed that shot at the end of the first half. But we still have the lead going into halftime. Not the best performance from this team. I like to see him step it up a little bit more. But still, we were okay. Oh, mistake. 100% a mistake. Here comes Barrios. Bar what is Barrios doing? What what am I doing with Barrios? How did he just find Castillo there? Castillo! Oh, man. I screwed that play up all the way. What a ball. Nope. That was, a that was the worst two-on-one counterattack ever attempted in the history of this game. Oh, man. The passing right now. The passing from Iniero. This is terrifying. Are we even going to hold on for this game? Oh my god, Allison has made two incredible saves in this match. Well, there's the final whistle. That was a thoroughly unimpressive game from us in our first game of the season. Thankfully, that game actually doesn't really count for anything. I mean, we won it, so we won the trophy, and it kind of counts. But when we start the regular season, we need to be much, much better. Credit to Miniero, their defense was incredible. But we've got the attacking talent to be better than that. We flat out didn't create any chances. We didn't create, like, like, any at all. Like, at all. It was bad. It was awful. We need to be better than that. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and end this episode right here. I know it was only one game, but I never really played very much in the very beginning of a season because a lot of transfer window stuff to get to. And I wanted to stop because I want your opinion on this deal right here. We have Max Arudi, who I already said, I'm getting rid of him. I don't like him, and I'm actively shopping him around Finally, a team came in and offered for him. It's LA Galaxy for $1.4 million. That's not bad. However, I already have an offer accepted that includes Max Arruti, and it's for Omar Gonzalez. And it would be $4.5 million plus Max Arruti for Omar Gonzalez. So, my question is, what should I do? Should I get Omar Gonzalez? Do we need another starting caliber center back? Or is Matt Hedges good enough for now? Or should we just take the money and $1.4 million and put that in somewhere else. I mean, it's a pretty good deal for Omar Gonzalez. $4.5 million plus Max Rudy. 
not half bad. So let me know what you think I should do regarding Max Rudy. So that is where we're going to be ending this first episode. Next time out, we will get into the regular season. And our first match of the season will be against the LA Galaxy. So we may be seeing Max Rudy again very, very soon, depending again on what you guys decide to do. And whatever you decide, I'll go with it. I'm perfectly fine going either way on this Max Rudy decision. I don't really care either way. As long as he's out of the team, I'm cool with it. So that's going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you when we come back for some more League of the Americas with FC Dallas. See ya.